Hi, and welcome to this third tutorial about C Sharp in Visual Studio Express 2010. In this video tutorial, we're going to talk about operators. Let's start Visual Studio and open a new project. I'm going to call it Program 3. In the previous lesson we've learned what variables are and what data, data types mean. It is possible that we can add two data types to variables together. For instance with an integer. We're going to make an integer called number 1, which we're going to assign a value of 5. Then we're going to make an integer called number 2, which we're going to give a value of 11. Then we're going to con say console right line, and then we're going to say number one plus number two. We're going to put these between parentheses. Then we're going to say to string, and let's just see what happens. We've got one line, console dot read line. If we do not specify the read line command, our program will close instantly. Here we can see that the answer that we put in here is 16. And that's correct because we've added number 1 to number 2. We could have also done this in a different way. Let's stop our program. Make another variable called temp, and then we can say number one plus number two. And then instead of passing this into the right line command, we can simply say temp to string. The advantage of this is that we can use this temp variable again for different calculations. For instance, we can make another integer called temp2. And then we're going to say the first temp variable, multiply this by 2. Of course, we need to say to our program that we also want to output temp2 as a variable. So I'm just going to say temp2. And that is correct. First we have 5 plus 11, 5 and 11, which is being stored in temp. And then temp2 gets the value of temp, which is 16, but times 2, which is 32. OK. One useful trick for programming with C Sharp is making lines into comments. And to do this, we can do this by adding two slashes in front of a line. As you can see, our lines turn green. If you want to make multiple lines into comments, then you can also use a slash, the asterisk sign, then go to the line where you want to stop making comments, enter asterisk sign, and then a slash. This will save out in a lot of slashes before every single line. OK. Not only integers and doubles use operators. Strings, for instance, can also use operators. If we want to add these two lines of string together, then we can either use a new string, which is called text3, like this, or we could add this inside the right line command. But let's just see what happens. Text3 to string. Oh, that's no longer necessary because we already have a string. 
Hi myself. Hey, that's awesome. Adding these two together is called concatenating. The last thing I'm going to show you in this tutorial is the usage of quick operators. For instance, we have an integer called number 1. We're going to give this the value of 5. We're going to print it out to the screen. But before we want to print it out to the screen, we want to increment this number 1 value with 1. Now there are a couple of ways to do this. First off, we can say number 1 is number 1 plus 1. After we have declared a variable with its data type and we want to use that variable again, we no longer have to specify what data type it is because the variable has already been created. Let's just test our program. 6. That is right. Instead of using this, well, relatively long line, we can also use a, sh a little shortcut that the people in the program world, programming world made. The shortcut looks like this. Number 1 plus plus. This simply means that we want to add 1 to the value that number 1 has. We can also do minus minus, which is actually the same as plus plus, only it subtracts, it decrements our value. If you want to add a different value than 1, we can also say plus is 7, for instance which makes 12. And the same thing can be done for multiplying, adding, subtraction and dividing. There is also one operator that I haven't shown you yet. It's called the modulus operator also known as the remaining value of or remainder. Let's say that we have a number with a value of 9. Then we're going to say integer number 2 gets the value of 10 modulus 9. Well, let's see what the output is. the output that remains is 1. Why is this? The modulus, well, what does that? It takes the first value, 10, it looks whether the second value can be subtracted from it, and if that's so, and in the value is not uh, a minus value, then we have a remaining value, and in this case that's 1. Let's add two more examples. 3 and 4. Here we're going to say 12. Here we're going to say 19. I want to print those numbers to the screen. So what happens now? We have 1, 3 and 1. 10, we can subtract 9 from that, and we have 1 left, but we can no longer subtract 9 from that without getting a minus value. So 1 is our remaining value. With 12, we can subtract 9, and we have 3 left, but we cannot subtract 9 again, and that's why we stay at 3. 19, the value 19 fits twice the 9, because 9 plus 9 is 18, and we once again have a remaining value of 1. That is what the modulus or remainder does. And that also covers this tutorial about C-sharp and operators.
I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next tutorial, where we'll be talking about if statements. Goodbye.